Hi everybody, welcome to our service today, it's great to see you and I don't know about you but since last Sunday I've been buzzing I really enjoyed meeting and worshipping with you last Lord's Day it was great to be able to preach to faces even behind masks it was great to, to listen to worship music together and to talk and fellowship with one another, it was wonderful um, you don't know what you have till you've lost it and I think that was, certainly was true for us so yes as promised we have an update about when we're going to meet next um, on Monday night the night after our service the leaders came to an, an agreement and the next time we will meet is on the 15th of November at 4 p.m. at Christchurch Pennington the 15th of November at 4 p.m. at Christchurch Pennington. Why have we done that? Two reasons mainly. The news about COVID-19 and how the situation is developing is not very encouraging, shall we say. We want everyone to be safe and to be well and we just feel we don't want to, with the best will in the world, rush back and then have to stop entirely. The second reason, which is again related to it, about people's well-being is, although the service was simplified compared to what we did at the sports village, it still requires people to muck in, to get involved. And we haven't got the personnel at this stage to be able to move to more than once a month. It, we do need a desk person um, and I'm not, I will not have it that there's only one person doing the desk. Um, I don't think that's right even with, as I say, the best will in the world when, when it starts up everybody's full of enthusiasm and then as weeks go by, understandably, there becomes a bit, people get a bit fed up. So if you want, if you want to meet more often, think about what you can bring to be able to enable that. However, we are not going to meet more than once a month till after Christmas, because we need to think through how we can do it safely and as well, not just for ourselves, but our friends at Christchurch. Um, I, my burden is obviously for your salvation, for your spiritual well-being, that you all get to know Christ better, but it's also for your well-being mentally and physically. And I don't want to put anyone under extra pressure. I mean, it may well be that we can meet more often, but it may just be me stood at the front of church. We'll have to monitor things as they go. So please have a think about it. What can we bring? Um, and we'll be praying for us because, and for our friends at Christ Church who are fantastic, and indeed for this developing situation across the world. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough times. My heart goes out to you. I do miss you all. Um, and yeah, so we'll be praying for that. In the meantime, just little notices. Um, we've got a live group on Wednesday night and we're looking at things to do in the new year. So have a little be, expectation, be expecting. Sorry, got words came out wrong then. Be excited about what's coming up and we'll have more information for you as time goes on. So as we begin, I'm going to read Psalm 92. Now you've heard me say over the years that Sunday is the Lord's Day. Well, God's always had a day in the Old Testament, from creation to the first Easter weekend, God's day was Saturday. And in the New Testament, God's day is Sunday, the Lord's Day. Um, because that's the day in the Old Testament when God finished his work of creation. In the New Testament, it's when God finished his work of 
redemption, of saving us. I say that because I'm going to read Psalm 92, and it's called A Song for the Sabbath. The Sabbath was God's Old Testament day. And in today we will we remember the works of God. And today we're going to remember and celebrate the work of God that he created us and that he saved us through Jesus Christ. And that on the first day of the week, he also sent the Holy Spirit to apply it all to our lives and to make us like Jesus. So we're going to celebrate that today. So we're going to read Psalm 92. It is good to give thanks to the Lord. To sing praises to your name, O Most High. To declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night. To the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your work, and the works of your hands I will sing for joy. How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. The stupid man cannot know, the fool cannot understand, that though the wicked sprout like grass, and all evildoers flourish. They are doomed to destruction forever, but you, O Lord, are on high forever. For behold your enemies, O Lord, for behold your enemies shall perish. All evildoers will be scattered. But you have exalted my horn like that of the wild ox. You have poured over me fresh oil. My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears have heard the doom of my evil assailants. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree and grow like the cedar of Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish on the courts of our gods. They still bear fruit in old age. They are even full of sap and grain. To declare that the Lord is upright, he is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Let's worship God. <clears throat> 